What's up everyone, got a creation here, and uh, today we are playing a little survival island series of my own. Basically, I kind of made this about myself, by the way, so just bear with me on it. So basically the idea is that I'm stuck on this giant island made of stained glass. The entire thing's made of stained glass, so I'll even show you there's brown, there's it's blue in the water, and the only thing that's not stained glass is under this tree. And we got some stuff. We got some flint, and it's hubo meal, and everything else I have to get myself. So how am I going to do it? Mods. Just mods, basically. So we've got a couple of items here and there. Um, we've got... I know we've got, like... So we got more berries, which I don't think we're ever going to get to. Um, let's see, we got tea construct. We got... Uh, I think you're... Uh, Flint, Wither War, Tiny Cactus. I think you're a special type of wood that just should not... What are you? Um, we got this guy, we got some... We got barrels and all that nice jazz, and there's just a bunch of parts, and then... It all kind of leads down to these, and I'm not sure what this is, what those were, so... Eh. Whatever. So, yeah, so I'm going to try and survive on a modded survival island and see how far I can get. We've got this giant ass lake, except I have no way of moving around, so we'll probably be best just leave it alone for now. So, um, I think I used to do a, I used to do like a three episode survival series with uh, some friends, and it kind of ended before it even began. This is kind of ended a lot, ended a while back ago, so, eh, I don't know. Alright. Let's see. That's my key on action, kind of like this. I swear to God, if I go stop again, I'm going to spawn again. There we go. Okay. I need to crook. Okay, so I'll just get you down, I'll get some out, and I will just do this. There we go. Okay, let's get this started, shall we? Um, and no, I will not release the map, because this is just something else. You really want to try, you can build your own survival island, just get the T-Construct and some other mods that I'm not quite aware of. I'll go look at it at the end of the episode, alright? Um, well, let's make a crafting table. And then after that, I need this, this, and I think if I recall correctly, yes, we got a crook. I'll just get back into tree farming for a little bit, so. The crook, if I'm correct, is designed to help make it so uh, saplings will fall faster from leaves uh, than when you would have if you punched it with your bare hand. So I'm going to test that. I'm trying to get a silkworm, honestly. Um, silkworms are this are part of the same mod as this thing. Basically, it's designed to. Um, what is it? It's designed to basically make it so I can uh, acquire string more easily, especially in the case of this, because in order for mobs to spawn, I have to exit the chunk and uh, let it 
I have to get at least a few blocks away and let it... It has to be nighttime, first of all, and then I have to get a few blocks away for anything to spawn. So, ultimately, I don't think I'm going to be able to just get out of here immediately. So, let's just, um... I'm going to go ahead and just that, and I'll make some more, I'll get more saplings. I actually want to suggest this to a friend of mine. Uh, his name is Dubstepco on YouTube. And he's also known as Dubstep49 on Minecraft, and you've probably met him a few times. I did a little, I did like a one episode uh, B Team series with him once. And I honestly think he would like this, because first of all, the entire mod is designed to make it so Survival Island is easier. And why would we want that? Why wouldn't we want that? Of course, there's no mob griefing, there's no deep inventory off, so... Usually, I don't do that. Then again, when am I ever going to go off the edge? If I do go off the edge... Oh... I think my own piece full now and easy. Let's just check him. Yeah, I usually keep it on easy, because... Why am I punching it? I'm probably gonna have to make another crook. Yeah, let's go make another crook then. Uh, oop. Damn it. There we go, we got another crook. Just put you there for now, and let's just go ahead and bone you. Good. So, will I ever get around to actually making stone? So, since there's so much stain clay around here, which is entirely useless except for decoration, what will it be good for? I don't know. I say let's just wait till we get the hammer. And no, I'm not talking about the key construct hammer. It's done. No, I'm mostly talking about the, um... What am I doing? I'm doing it again. Stop punching with your fist and get the damn crook out. We already did it here. Let's not worry. Hey, when I stop using the crook. So just like, what's the point of using it if I'm not, what's the point of making it if I'm not going to use it? And all it really does is, uh, and I know that it's made of wood and all, but honestly, I need more saplings at the moment, so let's go and make, like, eat, let's put these things, so, so you can put these, Okay. There we go. I'm right, gonna put you there. God damn it. Oh look, I got the book I never gave myself because I didn't really flex well, this book trick that I needed. There's um There's a handful, there's like three books connected to T-Construct, which explains how to use it. Which is really cool, actually, because um, it says, hey, you need some help with that? Here's a little here's a little guide to getting you started on your path to T-Constructism. Alright. Tool. Let's all those here. Parts go messed up. Um... There we go. Alright, so uh tool station here and uh, I think there was like a missing thing in here that says hey you can't build that in the tool station that you can build in the tool builder. Uh uh let's build another crook. Yeah, I think we're fine for now. 
Screw that. Put this down. And, um, alright, so it's nighttime. So, one of the interesting things. So, I'm trying to collect a silkworm. And if I'm correct, the only way to get to a silkworm is to break the leaf. And there goes my crook. That's why we made a spare. Probably go make an axe on the T construct table. And a new crook, holy shit! This thing's wearing out fast! You know what's even sadder is in normal survival, this mod's practically worthless. Alright, let's make two crooks. There, now we have two crooks, and uh, I also need to make a couple blank patterns, so let's make an X pattern, shall we? No, no, yes, give it to me. Uh, the reason why I put the crook in was because of uh, T Construct's other thing, which is uh, flint is a what is it, tool source, it's like stone, except a little bit more durable, so. It's why there's stone and not, and the reason why there's flint is because flint only has so many uses outside of T construct, which is uh, flint and steel arrows, and uh, I don't think there's much left to it. E T construct it makes full use out of it because it's just higher, higher up stone. So let's just get into the damp. Oh. I messed up. Okay, there. Let me have that, and I'm gonna just make an X. I'm gonna call this um, first butt. Mm -hmm. so normally, when I'm creating a set for a series, I try to keep it like in the same theme. But since we're doing this, since we're making tools from scratch, I'm just gonna. Okay, that's good. So that means we're gonna get rain eventually. Oh no, my crook broke. Good thing I made spare. Yeah, this first butt really yeah, first butt really helps a lot now. Uh Somewhere in the distance, I can hear the sounds of some kinds of mighty robotna going, Yay, butts! <laughs> Alright, so. Let's go ahead and make a barrel. Um, let me see if I'm going to do this. Um, okay. So, two oak barrels, and I'm going to put one here and here, and I'm going to fill this one up with saplings. So, what does this do? It makes compost, and when it rains, it'll mix together and make dirt. So, that's good. So, now we have, uh, we have that going, so... Eh. Basically, we just played it out, so... Meh. I can't pour it because I don't have a bucket right now, and I very seriously doubt they have any wooden. I might doubt those barrels actually count as buckets, so we're not gonna go there. But hey, we got some barrels. That's good. And I can hear the sounds of PewDiePie fans going, "Eee, barrels!" Well, shut up. These are actually nice barrels. They collect water. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> 
I have never seen the Lego movie, and I kind of want to, actually. Although, I will never watch... I will never watch, um, Rocky Horror. If you don't know what it is, I don't know what it is either. Honestly, like, the only reason I know about or the name is because my sister is obsessed with it. And it's just a movie that I have no fucking clue what's going on. Honestly, I don't even think the director knew what was going on. I need to make another credit card. Yeah, I do. I know I have the spares, but let's face it. This thing is not going to last long against this thing. Yeah, let's face it. This thing's not going to last. in the damn tree. saplings on that. Like, give me another apple! Give me another superworm! Give me something! Sicken up and then we're gonna put the full time in it. We're gonna let it sicken up a bit and then I'm gonna wait till it's completely done. Well, why would I wanna wait for that? String. That's when the that's when you get the string. You can also just pull out the crook and start harvesting it and slight chance of getting more silkies. Yeah. I still remember Teen Titans, you know, back before it was a comedy. There it is. <laughs> um, be a little impatient. I want to harvest it. Screw it, I better guess. It's not ready. You need to stop. You probably fucked it up already. I need my string now! Oh, shut up, kid! <laughs> no, I'm getting really anxious and I want to harvest it! Ah, can I just take this out? Okay, good. Alright, so let's let's keep at least two on us. If we can see the rest, I just need two because I need to uh just to make it look three. Build up two more. Right. Damn it. Oh well, this is plenty far enough now. So we'll just smash one right here. Oh, the spring. Spring! That two silkworm! Yeah, I got big food, but once I got the string, there was no stopping me. Wow, there's a lot of 
thing. Hey, that's good. That's good. Let me go this way. If I got anything that made it more productive, it's a good day. Even if I just got nothing but full cords, it's a good day. <laughs> tree that doesn't give up. Alright, so... Although what really scares me is I got this Brumma tree that was perfectly fine and it just kind of sat there and then only after I put let it go did it actually just go chaotic with it. But... I'm telling Jared about this mod though. That's This is just too... I'm telling Jared about this mod. This is too cool. I actually did want to do a survival island series that was more um, sophisticated. So instead of just like this, it's like three islands and you have to like teleport to them using portals and you have to have this guy tell you what to do and stuff. Good. Okay, that's good. I'll put uh, some sort of food. I'll put one here. Um, here. One here and one here. Actually, I think about it. I'll put one like right on the edge, right you know, there. All right. So now I'm just gonna let this tree kind of. Eh, I should not be doing that though, because I need some more saplings. And now I'm gonna make the sieve, which I actually do not know how to craft right now. So we're just gonna look it up. Is there nothing that starts with the letter S? Okay, what is it? Mod. So, uh, there it is. Okay. I'm gonna craft that. So I need a stick. Okay. Seems easy enough. Oh, I need two. I think I need. Yes, I heard that too. Mm -hmm. And I'm just pretending to. There we go! Woohoo! We got our seed! I'm gonna put it right by the water, right there. I'm gonna show you what it does. Yep, we just got some stone. Yes, this is the ideal way of. Oh god, they're tossable. Oh god, they can be thrown! I pooed. <laughs> So yeah, now you know why I was collecting those saplings and trying to make more dirt. And you also know why I didn't just make the entire island out of dirt, because it would just be too easy to get these things. Eh. I don't know. I may just let Jared have his fun with this thing and see where it goes. Alright, but yeah, I think this is the end of the episode. And as promised, I'm going to show you guys what mods are in this, supposedly. These are Slurky mods, Basic Forge mods, Basic Forge mod. We already knew about that. Uh, okay. Eh, I would explain a lot of the stuff, but I don't think we're going to use any of these, so we're just going to. Stuff that makes it so. Uh, yeah, makes the whole world a new revolt. Makes it so it's a little bit easier to. Um, makes it a little bit easier to do survival islands. Cool mod that I feel like will be used eventually, maybe not. Starminer! I wanted to use this, but then I realized no. I'll get to you in a minute, and then these two are just add-ons. So, see you guys later. Bye!